Um, I'd like to talk about anxiety and how we may be feeling it in our bodies as it's something that has been uh, something that I lived with for many, many years without actually realising that's what was happening to me. And I wanted to talk about it as it was kind of, I was experiencing an anxious moment and anxious feedback in my body so it makes me more aware to kind of put it into context to talk about how breath work is such a fundamental aspect of helping us deal with stresses and strains of day-to-day -day life um, that happen that are unavoidable as well as the longer term impact of those when they start to uh, manifest in things, physical conditions in the body, um, mental health conditions, anxiety being one. Um, if we have panic attacks, it's the response that happens. So I put a video on about violence and uh, part of that whole situation, it, it, it's really upset me. And by that, I mean, it's got me quite hyper alert it's taken me back to a place in my life I experienced PTSD because I had experience of violence in many different ways in my life growing up um in my home situation in my wider family and then in like personal situation several personal situations so uh Moving away from that, I've spent many years trying to create a place of safety in my home. So to have to be taken to a position where I, I'm starting to feel unsafe in my own home, starting to, no, that's not true. I feel unsafe in my own home and that escalates in certain situations or certain behaviours that um, me and my family are being exposed to. Um, it's started to create a response in my body which tells me two things. There's still work for me to do around integrating some of the violence that I've experienced in the past, but also this new situation is giving me an opportunity to then work with the emotions that are coming up for me so that I begin to deal with and continue to deal with what that looks like. So for example, in terms of anxiety, one of the first key things that you may notice or start to become aware of is the change in your breath. So for me, there's a tightening under here, like it's almost like a gripping that happens unconsciously until I start to notice, I feel like I can't get a fuller, deeper breath in. My breath starts to shut down and become contained in my upper chest area and my diaphragm is beginning to feel really tight and um, it's like it's squashing everything up towards this space here. And then the tightening and tension and like internal gripping, like this would be what it looks like if I was holding my face, but that's happening without my face moving. So that's squashing my breath here. And then the tightness in my diaphragm is squashing it up here. So I'm trying to breathe or I'm noticing that when I'm trying to breathe, it's tight, it's constricted. It feels really, really, really uncomfortable. And that's great feedback that my body's given me to say that there's something else that needs to be looked at there's some other attention that needs to be paid um so it might be the feeling of fear or of or lack of safety it might not be happening in this moment in time but somewhere in my unconscious i am hanging on to or reliving an experience where that has caused me to feel that way and my breath is the biggest indicator of this happening so I might be just driving the car, I might be um, sending an email, doing something completely unrelated, but I know I need to take a moment to acknowledge that's what's happening for me and in that acknowledgement, addressing it. And so I just took a deeper breath because as I'm talking about it, I'm starting to feel the feedback in my system. I'm starting to notice the change because somewhere I'm going on the tangent that's been created by an unconscious thought that
that's holding on to a feeling, that's creating a feedback loop in my body, which causes the changes to happen physically, and I'm going away with that. When I notice that, I can just stop and slow down for a second. Now those three deeper conscious breaths have completely moved that feeling on. By slowing down and focusing on relaxing my diaphragm and in the relaxation of it, creating more space for my lungs to fill up with air and trying to release the tension around this space here, I'm opening out the constriction that had been present uh, reducing my breath to this area and allowing it to spread further and make more space. This makes me feel more present. I can feel the tension start to slip away in my body. So it's, muscles are starting to relax. There's more openness being created. There's more ease and um, movement where I was starting to tense up and close down and really tightly constrict. Things are starting to ease and relax and open out. And that's by stopping when I noticed things moving away from a place of ease, things moving away from feeling a bit more relaxed and relaxed and connected to this present moment and focusing on my breath. That was the difference. That was the thing that made the change. So for me, one of the reasons that transformational breath has ha had such a significant impact on my experience, on my life, on um, helping me heal from the past to integrate the traumas is because it has given me a physical and mental and emotional integration from the past from the um from the trauma from the stimulus that i was carrying around long after i say stimulus stimulus stimuli plural that i've been carrying around long 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 after the initial event which created the trauma which created the upset which created the challenge and the difficulty and the impact that that has had because over the years it's gained more and more and more and more momentum meaning that let's say 20 years after the initial event it's still affecting my life but because it's happening unconsciously and it happens as a physical response as well as an unconscious um, memory it creates patterns that can you might not I hadn't even been able to attribute or trace back to that initial trauma or that initial situation and transformational breath breath work has allowed me to integrate those things to start to loosen their grip against me to start to show me where the next step of the work needs to be so I understood it perfectly well with talking therapy it was great and it really helped me to intellectually gain that the parameters and understand why certain things were happening in the way they were. But it didn't remove the effect of the trauma physically, mentally and emotionally, because I was still triggered by things, even though I understood why I was still triggered by the fact that they were happening because it was stored in my body, it was stored in my breath, it was stored in my unconscious mind. And until we can tap into those things and start to integrate them, our ability to move forward will be limited. If we're just focusing here, but it was actually our whole human body that experienced the trauma, 
we're not allowing ourselves or giving ourselves full access to be able to move forward um, unhindered from these experiences and they will always be a treasure because there'll be lessons to learn be lessons to be learned there'll be strength to be gained from making it through from surviving from moving forward but until we can fully and completely integrate those experiences they will influence a huge part of our day-to-day -day life and we may be completely unaware of this.